Hi guys, welcome back to the river. Session number two. It's two weeks since we were last down. There's plenty of bait gone in. There's a few changes I've made to the way I'm fishing the river. Let's get on with it. So guys, same script as last time. We're gonna fish here in the afternoons and the evening. There's no night fishing here, so after that, we're gonna pop over to the marina. We're gonna fish there during the night. A couple of beautiful fish last time, especially that 22 pound common. One of the bigger fish I'm sure in there. I've not had much bigger from that marina, so I'm not expecting big things, but it's certainly nice when you're down here blanking on the river. So we're back down on the same stretch of river. We're actually in one of the swims that we fished last time. It was the one I fished on the Saturday evening. I've put a bit of time into this area. I've been coming down every two to three days and putting big buckets of bait in. Hopefully, putting all my eggs in one basket is gonna pay off. Okay guys, so you're joining me in the marina. I'm down on the boat. Unfortunately, nothing happened on the river. It's uh, Friday night now, about half past 10. We had a few hours down the river, about four hours. I definitely see some fish rolling. I'm sure one or two of them were carp. A couple were in the next peg and there was some on the far side in the reeds. Unfortunately, nothing came of it. I had loads of bream on me. I could tell that I was getting knocks on the rods all the time. I don't know if they're on the bait that I put in there last night or they're on the boilies I put in there tonight. At the minute I've only got quite small boilies. I probably need to get some slightly bigger ones. That may be an improvement I make on the next session. But for now we're down at the boat. So I'll just go through the rig with you before I swing it out. We've got just any old lead there really, a three ounce lead. I'm only swinging it off the back of the boat. Now what I've got this year is uh, a very silty marina. Three or four times last winter we were completely flooded out here and I think a lot of silt's been flushed in off the river and probably a lot of uh, soil off the fields as well. And I'm fairly sure that the rigs are sinking in over time and what I don't want is that rig being pulled in and leaving the hook bay with a strange presentation. So I've got that running on a helicopter rig. There's about 10 to 12 inches of movement there just to make sure if it sinks in it's not dragging the rig in. Then the rig is very simple, about 10 to 12 inches, quite a stiff coated, one of the modern coated materials. And on the end there, I've got a multi-rig. Very simple, just gives me that two inch pop up off the bottom. And there I've just got to match the hatch pop up just to match the boilies I'm putting in. Onto that, I'm just gonna hook a very small PVA bag, a few chop boilies. I'll probably swap this every hour if it doesn't go off, just in case that is sinking in the bottom and going a bit stinky. It's just starting to rain. Let's get these out and see what we can do. Okay guys, so the second rod is uh, gonna be just a leg clip system. I've been using this in previous years and not had too much of a problem. Although I did notice sometimes I wasn't getting a bite for two or three hours. I'd bring the rig in, swing it back out with a new PVA bag and within 15 minutes I was getting a bite and that led me to believe that maybe the rig was pulling down into the silt over several hours, even though I was getting a good donk when I was swinging it out initially. But here I've got about 12 to 14 inches. There again, stiff material. But the last inch there, just past that weight, I've stripped it, just so there's a bit more movement on the hook. And then I've just got a curved shank, size four hook, 15 mil yellow pop-up, just running on a little rig ring, up and down the hook link. Just a simple pop-up rig. I've chose the yellow. It's completely different to the other rig I've got out there. That's more match the hatch matching the boilies I'm putting in. This one is more to mimic the maize that I've been putting in over the last couple of weeks. I've put quite a lot of maize, hemp and tigers in here as I have the river. So I just want something that they're, it's not matching it perfectly, but it's a similar color quite often works when you've put in maize in over quite a long period. 
yet again that's going to go in just with a small bag just as the boil is I'm feeding to now I'm not putting any pellet or particle in like I did last week I found out on the Friday night that that was attracting far too many bream the Saturday night I only put boilies in and I didn't get any problems with the bream so although I don't mind having the bream in the swim I don't really want the disturbance of constantly hooking bream and fishing distress running around the swim so that's why I'm only feeding the boilies guys another beautiful condition common carp caught about 10 minutes ago it's just after five in the morning the light was just coming up and this one ripped off I think it's the biggest of uh, three I had last night it's a rough night real wet all night I had the first one just after midnight it was only about 10 pounds, so I put that one straight back. It was chucking it down with rain. I wasn't going to get the camera out. I didn't want to keep it. I was hoping I'd get something slightly bigger. Look at his feisty, he's got his fins up. Probably about 14, 15 pound. About the average size for the marina. Hopefully I can get into some of these in the river. Let's put this one back and get the other one out that's in the sack. There you go, this was the second one I caught, just after three in the morning. Sacked him up so I could show you what kind of condition these fish are in. I didn't know if this would be the last one I got, having had that one at uh, just after midnight. As you can see by its mouth, it's absolutely pristine, which 90% of the fish in this marina are. I'm not sure if anybody else fishes for them here. I know they have in the past, but these fish may not be the biggest, but they're certainly in a nice condition. Well guys, nice night last night. Three fish, all commons, all come into the same rig. That helicopter rig with a match the hatch hook bait popped up a couple of inches and only had bream on the uh, yellow pop up. If I had to think I've got one on it now. Well guys check this out, this is definitely a first for me. 
believe it or not. What I thought was a bream on the yellow pop-up is actually a Xander. Never caught a Xander before. And certainly not on a yellow pop-up. Well guys, after another successful night in the marina, three lovely carp, it's time to get back down the river, get a blanket again. <laughs> okay, so last night when I was down, I noticed quite a lot of activity on the far margin against the reeds and the tree line. I definitely saw what I thought was one carp come clear out of the water. It could have been a barbel, but it certainly looked like a carp. So today, I'm going to make the most of the opportunity of the early morning session before the boats come on the river. I've upped to a four ounce lead there. That should hold bottom on the other side because I'm going to be tow roping directly across the river. I'm not going to have the rods high in the air just in case a boat does come across. I'm sticking with the 18 inch of quarter IQ2 with a size four stiff rigger and that's got two bottom baits there sat on a D-rig and then at the lead end I'm gonna hook just a small PVA bag of boilies onto the actual leg clip so when I cast out the lead will go down and hopefully the hook bait will waft away from the lead downstream. The reason I've kept the rig quite long it's because I noticed last week or two weeks ago when I was down here my line looks like tow rope in the water so I just wanted to keep that separation between the lead and line and the hook bait. Okay, so the second rig, I want a leg clip system just like the first, three ounce lead this time because I'm only fishing what a third of the way across the river, just past the stream of weed onto the gravel. I've got 12 inches of the quarter IQ, two in 20 pound, size four stiff rigger. And then you'll notice there I've got a bottom bait and a pop-up that's been whittled down so it sits down on the bottom like a snowman. And then about an inch and a half from the hook, I've got a blob of putty that just makes sure that the hook lays flat rather than prone and catching on the gravel. So I just want it to lay flat on the bottom like that. I'm going to stick a PVA bag onto the leg clip just like the other one and hopefully we get something on.
Okay, so since I've been here this morning, I've been feeding small amounts of hemp and maize into a marginal spot next to some lilies. I know it's sort of four or five foot deep, so I just wanted to see if I'd get anything feeding close in. About half an hour ago, I noticed that there was big plumes of bubbles coming up and the bubbles were moving around. They weren't just in one spot, like, you know, when you get oxygen coming out the uh, bottom. Now, no, it's a soft, not silt, but like a clay. So I didn't want to go in with a leg clip. I've chose a helicopter system running on a leader. I've got about 12 inches separation between the lead and the bead. Uh, just a small two ounce lead. I don't want that to sink in. And then the actual rig itself is about eight inch, quite a stiff material, just broken at the end. And I've got the multi rig on there. And then I've got a nice small yellow wafter now you might be thinking why are you putting such a small bait on now having seen these fish blowing bubbles i want to know whether they're actually carp or bream now if they are bream coming in then this will hook them and that'll tell me and confirm it what i don't want to do is presume the carp put a really big bait on and then find that it's actually bream and they can't take the bait so it's more of an investigation just to see what's coming in, see how we get on. Okay guys, so that's the end of the second session on the river. What have I learned? It's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. The very first video I did, how hard can it be carp fishing on rivers? Well, I'm beginning to find out a lot harder than I thought. One thing I'm gonna to have to improve on next time before I come back is bait. In the marina, I've learned not to use the hemp and uh, maize when I'm actually fishing, just use boilies. And I'm getting away with using the 12 more boilies that I've got. Here on the river, that's not enough. It just attracts hordes of bream. I need to step it up to at least a 20 mil bait. So I think on the river, a bit like the marina, I can probably get away with pre-baiting with the particles, but I'm definitely not going to be fishing over the top of them. I think I'm going to step up to the maples, maize and tiger nut combo, try and see if I can discourage a few of the bream that seem to be following me around. Three nice carp out in the marina last night though. I've got to step up my game on the river and I look forward to getting back down here next time. Thanks for watching the video. See you again soon.